During the Emmanuel TV Partners meeting on Saturday the 5th of June 2021, Prophet TB Joshua said, time for everything. Now shortly after walking out of the prayer garden, he was called home to rest. Just before this happened, God had given one of the Emmanuel TV partners a revelation of how his servant Prophet TB Joshua would be called home to eternal glory. Right now, we want to meet this partner who is in our midst today. And so we want to welcome you in Jesus' name. You're very welcome. Please, can you introduce yourself to us and tell us the revelation you had that day? My name is Pastor Ifai Ikechuku. On that very day, which is the 5th of June, which is Saturday, we were on the mountain at the partner meetings. We were praising the Lord. So there's a lot of worship going on. So I stood up. I was worshiping the Lord. I was deeply in worship. Immediately my eyes opened. I saw something. People were running into scatter. This is my revelation. And uh, as they were running around, so I quickly opened my eyes. I thought it was real. I looked back. Everybody was still deeply in worship. I said, I had this revelation. I closed my eyes again. I was worshiping the Lord. The revelation came the second time. So I sat down. I began to pray. I was praying. I opened my eye because I was meditating on what I saw. I saw an angel right from this point descending. As the angel descended, ah, I was amazed. I said, ah, I was looking at the angel. The second one landed. It was very, I don't know how to explain it. It was very fast, like electricity, like as fast as electricity. It entered the second garden here. Nobody was in the garden. Then the third angel landed. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet, T.B. Yeshua, came out. He was ministering to us. He was saying, it is time to, time to come and time to return home after service. So he began to preach. We were listening to him. So he, uh, he, he preached to a point before India landed. I was watching them. Instantly, the atmosphere of our, of our daddy in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, his atmosphere changed, his mood changed. He dropped the microphone that was on his hand. He, he, he walked around. He was so fast, he walked around and he walked through the gate. I was watching him, he was moving very fast. I feel so hard because I haven't seen him that way. He left us very fast. And when he was, before, the, before he left, I could recall that the antelope were running out, out of that garden where the angels is. They ran to this part. Then I, 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 I watched everything as it unfolded. After that, we were called to receive the anointing water. Then we received the anointing water and uh, we received message that Papa said he has blessed us. So we received the anointing water. After we received the anointing water, we were very happy. Then we all went back to the, the, to the hotel room. This is what I experienced. I can easily tell you directly that our Papa did not just die. No, God sent his angel and he took him home like Elijah. I want to assure you that God is real and our father, Prophet T.P. Joshua, is indeed a man of God. I saw the angel that came to took him home and it is the Lord doing. I can as well tell you that if every man of God can be called home this way, can be called home this way, it will be marvelous. Because it is not easy. It is only Elijah have been called home this way. I saw the angels there from this space. They descend very fast. 
like electric. The most important part of it, I couldn't see them walking on the floor, but immediately I saw them on this, on this garden. The angels landed here. The angels landed here. The first angel. The second angel came from the same point again, from this point, and it landed here again. That was the second angel. Then the third angel, they didn't come a bit, they were coming one after another. The third angel descended again and landed here at the same point. They were there. Then our, our father in the Lord, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, came from this gate, the green gate over there. Okay, that green gate there. He came through this green gate and he walked through this path, through this garden, and he opened this gate and he entered into the garden, the mountain where we the partners are where we were praising the Lord. And as our father came in, senior prophet TB Joshua, as he came in, he began to speak to us and he said, a time to come and a time to return home after service. Time for everything. A time to come here and a time to return home after service. So we began to say that why as I was sitting, I began to think because what I saw was in me, it's, it's like a shock to me. I have not experienced such thing before. Then it got to a point, the, the, the fourth angel landed again. He, he landed from that point and he came down from that point there. You can see it from where the first angel landed from. They came down from the same point and they, they came together. As the fourth angel came down and it was in the, in the second uh, 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 garden, then our, our prophet, senior prophet T.B. Joshua was already ministering to us. Then immediately, his countenance changed immediately. His atmosphere changed immediately. As he changed, he dropped the microphone. I saw him. He began to move. He moved around. He moved here first, and he moved to that way, and he turned around, and he passed through this gate very fast. I have not seen him in that kind of mood before. There's something I observed. When the fourth angel landed, they, I saw the antelope on their own running through this place to this part. They began to run to this point. If you watch very well, you will see the, angel, the, the antelope, they, they were running a mark, they ran to this place. That was when the fourth angel landed. And he walked through this place very fast. As he walked down, I was watching him. He was moving, moving, moving. It was not like him, because formally he would come and lay hands on us. He did not lay hands on anybody on that very day. He didn't lay hands on anybody. He left us. So after a while, they were sharing the anointing water to us. Then after sharing the anointing water, they began to talk to us that our prophet, senior prophet T.B. Joshua, that he has sent him to tell us that we are blessed. That was when we began to feel relaxed. Then, before I had the news about his passing on. So I want to assure you, from my own observation and what the revelation that God gave to me, the angel came and carried our father home. He did not die. Yes, it is God's time. It is God's calling. God has God took him home for him to have rest. I wish God would give me this grace because what I saw, I am assuring you that I cannot explain it because there is a lot of shock in me because I can't just express what I saw that very day. Remember his last word. He said, watch and pray. That was exact language of Jesus Christ on that very last day. Let us watch and pray. 
if today is my last day, you want me to come out and say, today is my last day on the edge? Huh? <laughs> if God has shown me, TV Joshua, today is your last day on earth, and ah, I, I should come out and say, praise the Lord, today is my last day on earth. I will talk to you in parable, so that when I pass on to my father, you can now pick those parables. 